Well, probably the first thing that people don't realise that were to the north of us, and Pretty Sally is one of them, there were seven volcanoes. We're going back several hundred thousand years here, and those volcanoes were e erupting, and as they uh, did so, the lava flowed down into pockets all around and created basalt and bluestone when it cooled. And this, of course, is the basis. There were 41 quarries in Coburg at one stage producing bluestone material, either in little bits for the roads or in big bits for the houses. There was a quarry actually in the Pentridge site and there are still lots of spaces in Coburg that were originally bluestone quarries and have been filled in and turned into something else, in many cases parks and things. The book that we're, that's written by the Coburg people is Coburg Between Two Creeks. We've got the Merry Creek on one side, the Mooney Ponds Creek on the other. Batman arrived in Melbourne 1836 from memory and shortly afterwards John Pascoe Faulkner arrived. Now Faulkner and Batman were not very friendly shall we say and Batman had gone back to Tasmania to get his treaty authorised by the governors there and while he was there John Pascoe Faulkner turned up. Batman's men said you cannot stay here this was down by the Yarra this has already been claimed by Batman so Faulkner took his sheep and his men and they wandered off up the, at the beginning, up the Meribinong and then up the Merry Creek. He settled a farm on a farm there, set, it, set up his farm. The farm was called Oak Farm, which might sound familiar to some people who live in Oak Park. And the suburb, he called it Pascoville. Now later on this became Pasco Vale and Oak Farm became Oak Park. In 1837, the surveyor in Melbourne surveyed the streets of Melbourne, the nice square streets at right angles and all the rest of it. And after he'd finished there, he came out to Coburg. He surveyed it as large farms because Coburg was to be the food bowl for Melbourne. And one of the stories is that one of his surveyors, Foot, a fellow called Foot, was uh, his, I think his wife was born in a village in England uh, called Pentridge. And so he got permission. Now that's only one story. There's a dozen different stories about how Pentridge came about. Mm -hmm.